Hi guys, good morning. This is Elise and I pray that everyone is doing well. Um, this video is going to be just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I've been working on just little things here and there. I have some happy mail and I have um, something that I did on top of my desk. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know what I did, um, but I'm going to show you guys in just a second. So first of all, let's start with this, this mess that's on my desk. Um, I didn't even clean my desk off, guys, to do this video. I'm going to clean it off as I go. So what I did was I took a bunch of the Project Life or the pocket cards. I have a ton of those, which we probably all do. Um, and I decided I was going to make some like little embellished cards. I took my We Are Memories typewriter. I pulled it over here in front of me and I started typing up some scripture. I started typing up some quotes and things like that. And, um, and I have to say guys, the, we are memory keepers typewriter, not my favorite. Um, it's not the easiest thing to type with. So I did make a lot of errors, some of them being user errors and some of them being the actual typewriter error. So, and I just went with it. I corrected those errors with my, my, just my black pen and I'm just not going to do them over. So you'll see when I show you these. So what I did was I pulled out a few embellishments. I got some of these little embellishment jars that I have. I've got buttons. Oops. And see, and I just spilled all those buttons on my table, but that's okay. We're going to keep going here. Um, and I'm going to show you what I did. So, um, I just, like I said, I started typing and I used some of these project life cards and for each one, I added a little clip of some sort so that I can add it to my journal. And so this was just some scripture and I added some little buttons here. And this is just a card. When I add this to my journal, I can actually take my date, uh, stamp and stamp the date there. And I just thought that turned out really cute. This is actually a hair bow, uh, not a hair barrette that I got a hair clip. I got this at, I think I picked this up at the swap meet one year. Um, they had some hair clips and I think that came from the swap meet. And then I just put a, a just a little bit of vintage, um, vintage lace there. And I just thought that turned out really, really cute. So there's the first one. And I'm going to actually put these to the side. So when I'm done, my desk will be cleared off and I can show you the next thing. Okay, here's one here. Now these little um, clips here, this clip is from a pack of, I think it's Amy Tangerine, um, little clips, pa paper clips, not paper clips, clothespins. And I just took my sewing machine and I stitched a piece of fabric scrap there. Um, this is one of those little die cut pieces that I got from Tuesday morning out of a, an ephemera pack. And I just typed, it says, this is my happy place. And my home for sure is definitely my happy place right now. So that is going to go somewhere in my journal. This one, I had an extra one of those little girls. And then I just added this tiny little clip that I can add this into my journal. I actually did some journaling on this one already. Uh, yesterday, my daughter and I, we did a little bit of gardening and we started some little seed pots. So I'm starting until I can get my garden built. I'm I'm planting a just a, a pot garden in my, in my yard. So we started that yesterday and that was a lot of fun. I kind of overdid it, got a little bit too much sun. And I went to bed super early yesterday because I was really, really tired and my, my knee was starting to hurt. Okay, so here's another one. Now this is a, a great example of where I made a lot of mistakes, but I just took my ink pen and I just fixed those mistakes and I'm gonna go. And I actually like the way it looks. So I'm gonna just leave it. This actually was a... Um, I took this off of a, uh, clip from a, um, simple stories. I think it was simple stories, little clip pack. And I just took it off of the little, like little hairpin type thing and just glued it on there. And this is another little fabric scrap that I sold on there. Here's one that says stay home to stay safe. And this was one from one of those, um, this little birdie came out of this little pack here. I love these stickers. And I just, another piece of fabric scrap and then a piece of vintage lace. And I love that. That's going to go in my journal. And here is another one. This is a Bella Boulevard. I think it's Bella Boulevard little clip with the little bow, another little birdie sticker from that paper, um, from that sticker pack, some washi tape, and there's my typing there. And um, some more vintage lace. Okay, this one here is a little bit dimensional. I'm not sure if this will actually go in my journal, 
um, I put this big, huge file. I'll probably switch this out. That's like really big. Here's another one of those clips from the Amy Tangerine set. And I just love the colors on this one. Okay. And then the last one is this one here. And uh, I put some scrap fabric here. Another one of those little clips. I did my typing there. And I just thought they turned out really pretty. So you'll be seeing those in my journal. So let me show you what I did. I'm going to just take my hand and just move all this other stuff over to the side. Let me move this because I want to show you guys what I did on my desk. So the other day I was completing a project for a friend and um, I thought, you know what? I have not used my silhouette portrait in a long time to make something for myself. So that is what I did. So what I did, if you can see it, let me move this up just a little. I use one of my cut files that I already had in my library and I cut this. It says the craft room is my happy place. And I just cut that with black vinyl and I put that at the top of my mat. And I love, love the, the way this turned out. I love seeing that when I sit down at my desk Sorry, my desk is a mess, guys, right now, but we're going to go for it. Um, and I love the way this turned out. So um, that's what I did with my silhouette. And this measures, um, I think it's probably maybe 10 by maybe maybe three and a half. So it's not that big. And I've got it centered. You can't see my entire mat, but it actually is centered on my mat. And I love it. I love the way that turned out. So I did that. And then let me show you guys some happy mail. Um I received some things from Rhonda Coleman. Hi, Rhonda. And Rhonda is Make Mine Pretty here on YouTube. And I'll put the link to her channel in the description box. You guys go over and show Rhonda some crafty love. Um, she is very talented. She makes the cutest, cutest little embellishments and her journal pages are just adorable. So you guys go show her some crafty love. So the other day we were talking about napkins and I was telling her that I ordered some napkins from someone um and I'll show you those in just a minute um from a an Etsy store in Canada and um she said well I have some napkins I'll share with you I was like okay so she sent me some so let me show you what Rhonda sent to me so these are the ones that she sent so she sent this one and I don't have a huge napkin collection but you know I always see pretty napkins that I want to purchase but then I don't need like a whole pack. I only need like one. So I'm going to try to build up my napkin collection so that I can enter in some of these napkin swaps because I actually love napkins. Look how pretty that is. That's really, really pretty. So they look so nice when you decoupage them into your journal. Now this one says a bridal shower, um, but I can cut this. I can use this border. I can cut out these little flowers. And so she sent me two of those. Those are so pretty. And then these are beautiful. She sent me two of these. Look how pretty. So, and not only do you have one square, you have, you get four on each one. So really, really pretty. I love that one. This one is pretty as well. And this one actually could cover, you could probably cover an entire page when you open this one up because you've got this little, um, this pattern here. And then you've got this pattern here. It's really, really pretty. And I love this one, the vintage telephone. Love that one. And this one is really cute too. It says, when my phone broke, we stopped texting and started talking again. I couldn't get a new phone fast enough. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Um, and then um, this one just has these polka dots. And it says, so sweet. Can you guys see that? I'm going to make sure I'm in frame here. I'm not paying attention. And this one here, this is really pretty. And I love the teacups. Look at that. Really, really pretty. Thank you, Rhonda, so much. This one is really, really pretty. So I may have to play around with one of these today in my journal. Really cute. And then this pineapple. And then she sent me this one with these cupcakes and these little treats. And this pretty flower pattern. This will be nice to cover an entire page in your journal. And then this little babushka. Love that. Then here's a little piece of a Christmas one. I have to save that one. Remember I have it. This one is darling. These little angels. Look how pretty. That'll be pretty for Christmas too. And this one says spring is here. This one can be used now. This one says Cupid is stupid. Uh, don't not judge me. 
She sent me a couple of those. And then she sent me this, this Paris one. This is really pretty, really pretty. Here's another French inspired napkin. Pretty. Oh, here, this one too. This one is really pretty. I really like this one. This one is really, really pretty. I love the colors on this one. That's really pretty. And then this really beautiful one. This would be nice in a garden journal. I actually want to make myself a garden journal. I started a garden journal, a garden in my backyard, like I said, a pot garden. And I'm thinking, guys, I want to start, I would love to start um, posting little things around my house. So I'm thinking of starting a new, either an Instagram channel or a YouTube channel called At Home with Elise. I think it's going to be Instagram and just post things around the house in my garden, um, you know, little vignettes and things that I because I do like to decorate and I'm thinking about um, starting another Instagram channel. Tell me what you think if you're interested in something like that on Instagram. So that's really pretty. And then she sent me some little little bits and pieces. Uh-oh. She sent me some little bits and pieces. I want to show her address there. And so these are, I'm going to use these also in my little garden journal. She looked like she like um, resized some seed packs. Look how cute those are. And then she sent me this cute little tag. And let's see what else is here that I can. And then she sent me some extra little stickers and things like that. Here's another one of those, those seed packs. So thank you, Rhonda, so much for all of these goodies. Thank you for the napkin and the napkins and helping my napkin collection. Okay, and then I ordered from um Angela. And Angela is Mama Muddling on Instagram. I think that's her name. I will link her as well in the um, description box below. I will link her Instagram um, page. And I ordered from her. She had some really cute tags that she made. And I just I just loved it. So here's the tag. And look how pretty. I, I just love this, guys. I love her writing. And um, I just had to have one of these. So I ordered this. And I love it. It says, you're created and formed you created and formed me. You redeemed and called me. I am yours. I love this. And this is that that little stamp. I actually have this stamp. It's right here on my desk. It's this stamp right here that she used. I believe it's that one. And um, I just love this. And then she put this vintage um, fabric ribbon as the tie. And I think this is going to hang on my spring uh, board that I have on my wall over here because remember when I did my room tour video if you guys haven't seen that I'll put the link to that video in the description box as well uh, my room tour video I have a spring mattress on my wall and currently it's just covered with a uh, different layouts that I've done in the past but that's going to come down real soon and I have an idea in my head of how I want it to look I'm still collecting things and so this is going to be added to that somehow so I I just had to have one of these. So I got this from Angela. Thank you, Angela. I love it. It's very pretty. So let me just add that over here. And then I ordered from, okay, so let me show you the napkins that I ordered. I ordered these from an Etsy store and it's called, um, let me see, just a second, guys. Let me see. The Etsy store is called, I can't remember. Let me see. She doesn't have a card in here. Uh, but let me show you the napkins and I will just look that information up and add it into the description box. And so, um, first of all, I, I needed some tags. So I ordered some tags from her and I got some large, let me show you what I got. Okay. So here is a white, this is probably a freebie cause I didn't order any white tags, but then, and she only sent one. So that's probably a freebie, but then I ordered these. I ordered a set of these um, these clothing claim check tags, and it's a two-part. So this part comes off at the bottom, but then you can do journaling here. You can put pictures and journal on the back. So I did order those because I'm actually working on creating some type of organization on my desk with tags and things that I can quickly grab to add to my journal. So this is going to be part of that. So that's the first thing that she sent. Okay, and then she sent, um, I ordered some napkins. Her napkins are absolutely beautiful, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. And I will put, like I said, I will put the link to this, 
this Etsy shop in the description box below. Okay, so um, and in each set. Okay, so here's the first one. Look how pretty. Look how pretty that is. That is so beautiful. And this one looks like it has, okay, so you get two, there's two of those birds and then you get this, this part here that has like this flower. It's beautiful. So that's that one. And then here is these bunny rabbits. Look how cute. You can cut these out. This is adorable. And I actually have a little swap that I'm um, going to do with a friend of mine that lives in California and she loves bunnies. So that was one of the reasons why I got some napkins from this particular store because she had a lot of pretty bunny napkins. So that's that one. Then here's another like really pretty one. Love this one. You can cut these flowers, lots of different pieces that you can cut or you can just collage or decoupage the whole entire napkin. So really, really pretty. I hope you guys can see this okay. I hope my lighting is okay. It's really nice outside today. It's really nice, but the sun is in the back of my house right now and my trees out front have started to bloom. Um, and so I'm not getting as much natural light. Is that a little bit better? I'm open my curtain just a little bit. I could just pull my curtain open and get a little bit of extra light in here. Okay. I think that might be better. Okay, so look how pretty this is. Definitely gonna use this in my garden journal. Beautiful, beautiful napkin. And so this one, you get four. Got four in that set. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. This is gorgeous. This is a beautiful napkin. And each of the sets, you get four napkins. And her prices were pretty good. Unfortunately, coming from uh, Canada, the the, the shipping was a little bit expensive, but you know, it was coming from Canada. So it's, you know, the shipping from here to Canada and vice versa is a little bit more, but look how beautiful that is. I absolutely love, 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 love this one. Love the Mason's, Mason jars, love the flowers. This may even be the cover to my um, garden journal. I may make this the cover. That is so beautiful. I love the colors in that. Then here's another set of four. This is beautiful as well. This also could be a, a beautiful cover for a garden journal. I love that. So pretty. And then you get the same, well, a different part of the design on the back. But you get four napkins in this set. And then there's another pack. I think I ordered like maybe six or seven different designs. Um, she sent me a couple. I think those single ones, I think those were extras. Okay, so then I have this design here. Okay, wait a minute, let me see. You get four of these. Look how cute. Look how adorable that is. That's so cute. Then you got the little bunny. Look, he's running away on the back. So you can use either this side or you can use that side. Both sides are very, very cute. And then here is a little single napkin. This is probably a little extra. I love that because you can use this entire piece or you can cut out all these little rectangles or these little squares to have like little individual little pieces. Very, very pretty. Look how pretty, oh my gosh. This is beautiful. So this is another set that I ordered and I'm gonna be sharing these. Look how pretty. These are so pretty. That would also make, so when I ordered these, I was picking designs that I thought would be pretty in my garden journal. And this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So on the back side, I think all the designs are the same. So now you've got, you know, not only one, butterfly, but you've got several different butterflies on each napkin. Very, very pretty. So my napkin collection is just going to be, it's just beautiful. I'm just, I'm so excited about this that I actually have a napkin collection now. And look at this bunny. How pretty is that? So, so pretty. And I think, let's see if there's another design. So you've got him facing this way and you've got him facing this way. So you can use him either way, depending on how you're designing a page or what you're using him for. Really, really pretty. I love it. And then this one, I love this one. Look at all the different elements on this. You've got the typewriter, you've got the little scooter, you've got birds, you've got the, the bicycle. So if you open this up, you've got the entire bicycle. It's really, really pretty. Look how pretty. That is so pretty. Beautiful napkin. So thank you so much for those. These are so pretty. And like I said, I will put the link to her Etsy shop in the description box below. And let's see, what else did I have to share you guys or tell you guys? 
Um, I think that's it. Oh, let me show you a couple pages that I, I did in my journal if you're interested. I'm just going to do a quick little flip through of my journal. So this journal, um, I started this journal at the end of March. And this is going to take me to the end of April. Um, I haven't been working in it too much because I'm trying to do other little things and I've been just trying to keep myself moving with my knee. I don't want my knee to get stiff. So I'm trying not to sit too much. So, um, I've been doing walking. We've been walking through the neighborhood. I'm, I, I, I'm, I can usually make it around all the way around the, the block because, and it's a big, huge circle. Um, and it's a little bit less than a mile, um, before I got my knee done um, but now that my knee is, is completed, I'm working on it. So I can't quite make it all the way around, but I'm working on it. Um, cause I don't want to overdo it with my knee. So, but anyhow, so this is my journal for, um, this is my journal for April and here is my first page. I'm not sure if I showed you guys any of these pages or not, but I did go back and I added some pictures. So there's a picture of my husband and I, we were playing, um, some checkers. This checkerboard, this actually is one of those checkerboards from Cracker Barrel. And I found this at the Goodwill, brand new in the pack for $1.59. I had to get it. And I'm so glad I did it now. So, um, so that's the first page. Here's another page. Some of these pages you probably saw on Instagram. Here's another page. And I just added a picture of the yard there. I added a picture of some yummy breakfast that I made one morning. Okay, this page here, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this or not. Um, it seems like I did a flip through, but I don't think I did. But anyhow, um, here are a couple tags that I got from Rhonda Coleman. This set of little buildings here, I made a little a tip in, uh, not a tip in, a little tuck spot. And those are from a um, die cut set that I got from Tuesday morning. Okay, um, here I just added a couple things that I got from Rhonda. Added a piece of fabric scrap here that I can still write there. This little girl right here, she came out of a children's book. And I just thought that was really cute. Now, this ended up being a big pocket here. So I can add some journaling and things inside there. Okay, here is a page. I love this page. Um, lots of different elements. Um, these are a couple of Easter cards that I sent. One went to my sister and the other one went to my mom. Here's a picture of my mom on the back of this arithmetic card. And I did some journaling there. I did do a lot of journaling in this in this book so far, but a lot of it is tucked away. This sweet little picture here with all these little this little glitter um, that came from Rhonda. So uh, let's see what else. Uh oh. Okay, so here's one another one of those clips that came from that M Amy Tangerine set. And then I've got some cards here. My friend and I we were um, um, doing some Facebook. Uh, messaging and we were playing around with some filters. I thought that turned out really cute. Some journaling cards. Then I added a picture of my uh, room tour uh, video um, card there. I did some journaling here on this card. Still have places that I can go journal. This is a little mason jar, like little um, embellishment that I made years ago. And I, I I still have a bunch of these left, and I just stuck one there. This piece right here is some coffee dyed parchment paper with some coffee dyed vintage lace, and then a piece of fabric. And then I added it says my happy place. That actually came from Rhonda. I love this page right here. It says boredom busters, and I put craft, craft, and craft. And then this is a tip in, and then behind here I just have some little elements behind here. And then I have um, this little envelope here. I have some journaling tucked in this envelope. And then I found, th I thought this was really cute. This came out of a children's book. It says stop. So it says safety. So don't remember, to, don't forget to be safe, guys. Make sure you're washing your hands and um, wearing your mask when you go out and that kind of thing. I did add some of these little glasses here because those weren't there. Add some little glasses. I got some pictures tucked right there. And... Let's see, what is this picture? Oh, this is a picture of my little, that's my little chair that my friend Sandy painted for me before I moved to Georgia and the seat was taken out and I added some flowers. So I thought that was really cute. So that's sitting in my back now. Okay, here is a picture of my son. He was actually 
going out to do some grocery shopping. He has his mask on. He's out in California. I miss him. And then this is a little window. Um, and I just journal about what I see when I look out my window. And then this came from a Dr. Seuss book. And I thought that was really cute. This is just a piece of junk mail that came. Um, and then this, this little girl right here, Rhonda Coleman, she colored her and drew her. And I just put it, I thought she was really cute. This is a Stamping Bella stamp. And I just colored her up and put her there. Then I just added all kinds of little bits and pieces to this page. I had this day, I remember this day when I did this page, I had all kinds of little things on my desk and I just started collaging them into this, onto this page. And I think it turned out really cute. All the colors just came together just really nicely. And then this is a page that I am not done with. This is kind of where I stopped, but I was inspired to use this picture right here. One day, my husband and I, we washed the car. So um, I need to, I need to finish this page. And that's it. That is where I am in my journal. And thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe. Stay healthy, help each other because we're all in this together. So if you know that there's someone in need, reach out and, you know, call elderly people, call people that you know that are alone and just reach out and just help someone. So um, we're going to make it through this, guys. In the meantime, happy crafting and stay healthy. Okay, bye. Have a good day. Bye.